Hi guys, welcome back to this page of our lives. Yeah, say hi. Hey. And on today's page, we'll be getting to know Levi, my husband, better, together with Haradali Wisdom, as they make us scripts. Yeah, so Haradali Wisdom is a channel where this lady her name is rosie she does cooking shows and today she'll be cooking crepes with levi and we get to know them so stay tuned okay so levi yeah. if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself <coughs> just so like our viewers know kind of who you are yeah yeah right. uh my name is levi clausen i was born <coughs> in calgary here um and then i lived in ontario from age five to 25 26, something like that, and then I moved back here three, four years ago. So where, where did you live? My parents, they, my dad got a job in Ontario, and so oh. we ended up all going over there, and oh, okay. uh, he was working that job for, I want to say, 18 years. Oh, wow. It was Nortel, oh, okay. and then Siena, and uh, wow. yeah, and so it was pretty good, but Ontario is, when you, I'm comparing the two, once I came here, I'm like, oh man, like it's, it's you so like much this nicer here. Yeah. yeah, it's way nicer. I here. agree. Yeah. I lived in Montreal too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I moved down here, and I'm like, oh, this place is actually nice. It's really nice. Yeah. It, I mean, Alberta gets kind of looked down on by the other provinces. Yeah. Like Alberta, but it, once people come here, it's like. But well, we help out other provinces. I mean. Yeah, we do. <laughs> You're not French, are you? No, okay. no, no, no. Okay. I learned a tiny bit of French in grade one, and then that was it. That's it. Yeah. It is, it's fine. No. I, you're Canadian. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> no, as a Canadian, you that. shouldn't have to know French. If you, you don't, don't go to the Quebec to. side, if you don't go over there, I only went there to ski. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, I mean, it is like what you said, like, sorry. It is Canada, so French is very important. Yeah. Um, Just a little bit traditional French. Yeah, well, like, if you want to be in the government, you pretty much have to know French. Yeah. If you want to, you know, be on phone lines or customer service, really. There's a few times in... Oh, yeah. So, for you, uh -huh. how long have you been here? In Calgary? In Calgary. In Calgary, I've been here since 2014. 2014, okay. Yeah. And I'm here just after the class. Do you enjoy it, too? I love it. Yeah, I yeah. It. I, I like to hike. Okay. So, in Calgary, it's very, very close to the mountains. Yeah. So, it's just easy to just like leave early in the morning, go hike, be 100%. done with it, come back home. A hundred percent. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. And the mountains are beautiful. Oh, I love the mountains. Ah, are you siblings here in Calgary or? They are an hour and a half north. Oh. Yeah. But in Alberta. They are in Alberta. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was one of the reasons I came back here is they moved here two years before I did. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, so you back. were the last one to move here? Me and my brother at the same time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so I'm the oldest, and then the brother I moved with is Caleb, and he's the second oldest. Oh, okay. And so, yeah, we both moved here at the same time. Okay. Packed up our stuff on uh, his Kia Soul and drove over, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was pretty good though. Nice. All right. So I should mention that Levi is married to a Kenyan lady, a sister of mine from Kenya, like me. <laughs> yeah. This is how we met. <laughs> But what do you do for a living? Right now, I am uh, a class three truck driver. Um, okay. But I, this has been a second career switch in the making. Okay. So I was an animator. Like originally, like of course, I did a bunch of whatever jobs that everybody does when right. they're younger. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to school, mm -hmm. and I took a one year animation diploma. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I learned to animate, and in Ontario, that's a big industry. Right. So I was able to do that for four years, mm -hmm. four and a half years. Um, and I mean, since May 2020, when everything shut down, they sent us home to work from home. Yeah. So it was wonderful. Like I yeah. got to work Please in my pajamas, oh, you yeah. know, doing my scenes. And then, you know, if you do, it's a quota. So if you finish your scenes early, you're done early. Uh -huh. like it's, it's, yeah. it's on your time. Yeah. So that was quite nice. Uh, but then when I moved here, I didn't know this, but there, there's uh, federal tax credits that pay the animators when they're in the province of their studio. So okay. in Ontario, in BC, or Quebec, they get bonuses, basically, like the studio, to pay their employees. So, but if they came to Alberta and hired somebody from Alberta, they wouldn't get those bonuses. And they are so substantial that they 
would just can't hire outside of like I'm fairly certain it's thirty percent wow. of okay. the employees wages that get paid. Wow. Okay. So then I was like, oh no, I can't animate here, right? Yeah. So there was a time period where it was like some overlap. So I did you want to kind of feel like going back? I did, and we actually flew to. Um, Windsor, Ontario. We were looking at houses because we were like, okay, maybe we'll move to Ontario. And so Alice hadn't been there, so I was like, let's go see. Okay. Windsor is the only place in Ontario that we could afford without being in like the sticks. Okay. You know, like yeah. some little backwater, nothing. Yeah. But um, we went there and it just didn't feel right. It wasn't the place for us. Um, and so then I was like, okay, I guess I have to switch careers. Wow. Right? So I needed something that would pay similarly. Okay. And so I was laid off at the time because of the strikes. That's mm. a whole other thing that happened. But yeah. being here, I was like, you know what? Maybe I could be a commercial truck driver. Mm. Like, it's steady work. You know, there's plenty of jobs where you're home still at night. Yeah. And I actually enjoy driving. <laughs> Okay. Really okay. So yeah. Yeah, it's something that you have to enjoy, right? Yeah. Like you can't just like. No, drive. if you don't like driving, if yeah. you get road rage or mm. you know, it's that's don't do that yeah. as a living. Yeah. But I do enjoy enjoy it. It's yeah. a it's a really big truck, um, and uh, like the, it's an eighteen speed. So you're shifting, wow. and then you flip the the plunger, and then you shift again through the. Oh, wow. It's it's quite a process, but uh, you know, once you learn it, it's not bad. But it seems like you really enjoy it, eh? I do, I do, yeah. yeah. And so I am working 10 hours more a week, but I'm making the same as I was as oh. an animator. So it balances out. Okay. <laughs> the paycheck's the same with a 10 hours more. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's working. It's working, right? yeah. yeah. And it goes up from there. That's yeah. the base, you know. One thing I found, though, is mm -hmm. that when I, I got my class three, mm -hmm. I paid it out of pocket. It was about 1400 Okay. Um, but... Finding a job with no experience in that is really hard because right. these trucks are expensive, like right. very, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. So they don't want to risk their truck on somebody who doesn't know how to drive it. Mm -hmm. And I, I went through about between 100 and 150 applications before I oh, got wow. the job that I have now. And really? I was losing hope. I was like, I don't yeah. even know what's going to happen. Is that here. because you didn't have experience or? That's because we didn't right. have. They asked, the most common question is, can you shift one of these manual trucks? Mm -hmm. And of course, I mean, in theory, yeah, but I was trained on an automatic, so I can't right. say that I have experience on yeah. it. Yeah. And so they don't want to risk their transmissions. Yeah. And that's fair. Yeah, it's understandable. It's fair. So, yeah, the company I'm with now, they were like, you know what, we'll take a risk on this guy. Yeah. The truck I'm driving is very old, so I'm sure they're like, you know what, it's probably not the end of the world if this one yeah. dies. Well, but, but still, it's you don't still, want anything to happen. Yeah, right? oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So I thank the Lord that he gave me this opportunity. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. That's really good. So how long have you been with them? I've been with them four months. Four months. Oh, that's yeah. pretty New. It's really new, like yeah. it hasn't been long. Yeah. I was doing Amazon in between animating and, uh, oh, and this. Okay. So Amazon delivery. Okay. Yeah. And this, is it like, is it like, so are you talking about like cross country or is it just in Alberta? Or? Uh, well, for mine specifically, mm -hmm. I there's a shop to the east, like directly east of Calgary. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I go there, I load up the truck and I deliver diesel exhaust fluid. And so oh. it's a type of fluid that diesel vehicles need yeah. um, oh. to be compliant with the safety regulations nowadays. Oh, I see. So I yeah, I go and I drive that. The farthest I go is Lethbridge and oh. Banff. Oh, okay. So, you know, okay. that yeah. it's, it's considerable, but it's right. not cross country. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Cause I'd be like, wow, you're going for that long? Like if you're going, let's say to Quebec, for example. Yeah, that would be fun. which some people do. And right. uh, yeah, I've noticed a lot of those guys will do it in a team so it'll be two guys and yeah. they will like one of them will drive while the other sleeps so and yeah. then they'll switch yeah. and they can get more miles done that way yeah but uh i don't i couldn't be in a truck with somebody like that for that long i'm quite yeah. a loner you know yeah. <laughs> bit of an introvert so that would be you don't really strike me as an introvert no i i, I know no. yeah <laughs> i think i have like a bit of both yeah it depends yeah. on the situation i'm in okay so yeah, so Levi and I, we just met not too long ago. Mm -hmm. So we don't know much about each other just yet. So yeah, getting to know each other now. <laughs> yeah.
No, you guys are great. Um, I'm glad to be so here. So are you guys. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I'm the baby. Yeah, no, cooking is fun. Everybody likes food, you know, yeah. so it's definitely a good way to meet people and talk. So what inspires you in life in general? In life, mm -hmm. uh, uh, my dad is a big inspiration for me. Um, mm -hmm. He's accomplished quite a few things. Hello, dad. Yeah. <laughs> he. Uh, if you get to watch us. <laughs> he worked from home when he was working with uh, Nortel, and that was something that I wanted to do too. And so, with animating, I did get to do that. Right. And so that was really cool. Um, he fixes cars when he needs to. He mm -hmm. built a house. In Ontario, and then like so, wow, it's just job. some mind blowing things that yeah. I'm like, I wish I could do some of that, and yeah. so I do. I like I, I fix my own cars here and there. Okay, he's thrown us a really good example of like what nice. a father should be, wow. and uh, I'm, I feel blessed for that. He's not actually my biological father, so oh. all of the rest of my family is white. So there's a visual difference if you see me with oh. them, you might not, but. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> but he's been there since I was one, and you know, to me, he is my father. Right. It's uh, yeah. So he he raised you, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. 100%. Awesome. Okay. Uh, all right. And um, what would be, what would you consider your biggest fear? Like, just, just being there for my family. Like, I want to be there for my. So yeah. I, I don't want anything to take that away from me. Yeah. You know, these two are very precious to me. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. You got a little emotional there. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> <A little bit. laughs> but it's interesting, like, how our fears can change. Right. You know, like, because yeah. for me, time. that was huge before. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I, you know, I don't fear that anymore. Yeah. I, I mean, coming back to God probably helps with that. But. Right. <laughs> That's really cool. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. You'll grab a crate, right? A single crate to start with. And, you know, the way I enjoy it is I'm going to take some bacon, mm -hmm. a strip of bacon in there. I'm going to add a couple peaches, probably three peaches. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put them in a row. Ooh. And then some cottage cheese. Maple syrup, syrup. some jigger, maple syrup, yeah. right? And so, in the end, it's going to be all rolled up, just like Voila. this, just Ooh, like that. That looks really good. For the recipe and how to make the crepes, go to at Haradali Wisdom on YouTube, and you'll find the full video there of how we did. And please don't forget to subscribe to both channels and show us both some love by sharing and commenting and yeah thank you so much